name is Ricky Barnett. I am a captain for the Miramar Fire Rescue Department. What I'm going to talk to you about today is the competition that was held in Mexico City, Mexico, which was the first ever advanced life support competition held in that country. The competition was hosted by the International Mexican Red Cross. The Miramar Fire Rescue Department participated in that competition, which spanned over two days and 30 hours of grueling work. We were amongst many teams that were there to compete over a two-day, 30-hour period. The teams had really no idea of what they were going into. There was probably over 80 firefighters, 15, 15 teams of over four or five personnel that participated in this competition. We were just one of those 15 teams and we placed second in that overall competition. They didn't know when the calls were coming, they didn't know what they were responding to, but they all got dispatched to different calls. Some of the calls went through four o'clock in the morning. Weather conditions, altitude sickness, and sleep deprivation and teams overcame that and worked very well together. One of the scenarios that could be very common is a worker that's working on a manhole and falls through a manhole cover into a sewer system. One of the simulated scenarios that we had was a worker fell through about 15 feet down and had fractured his hip. One of our rescuers was lo lowered into the cave or into the confined space and had to actually treat this worker down, down in the, the confined space area. In this particular instance, Captain Kelly Byrne was the one that was being harnessed up and he was being lowered down into the confined space and he was the one treating the, the member at the bottom of the confined space. He's breathing 24 times a day. He's got a lot of pain in his hip. I'm going to suspect a possible hip fracture. Cool. All right, I'm going to check carotid and radial pulses. Are they present? Five seconds. Five, four. Three, is he allergic two, to anything? One. No allergies. Okay. Pulse is 120, strong or regular. Do so I note anything in his pockets that might pertain to the scenario no, or any no. vehicle? No. Needle track or medical alert tag? Negative. All right, before I log roll him, when I go down on the pelvis. Oh, same and All right, at this time we have a pelvic fracture. We're going to tighten this down. Okay. Uh, uh, All right. Uh, across your arms, across your chest. We're going to put his legs together. Before I roll him, he has pulses in all four extremities, correct? Correct. All right. One, two, three, we're going to roll him. All right. One, two, three, we're going to come down some slowly. All right, we're going to move him as gently as possible. We're going to strap him in and get him ready for transport. Time! They were timed event. They were graded on how well they treated the patient. And then once they had the patient package, they had to exit through a very confined space. Miramar has always been good about training. We're always competing in different competitions. The training alone keeps us at that high level of treatment that we can for all our patients and all our residents here in the city. Our, our high level keeps us above just the average paramedic or the average firefighter and it keeps us to that high standard that we hold here in Miramar. Me personally, I've been competing with the city of Miramar for well over 12 years. Um, we have put together different competitions. In my opinion, this is probably one of the most, if not the most, realistic scenario that we have ever done. <laughs>